How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk video games and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to stop transition cheese. It is a hard thing to do but if you do these basic tips guys, trust me, you'll have a better chance of stopping the transition cheese in NBA 2K18. So over the next few minutes I'm going to be teaching you some basic tips on how to stop transition cheese. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is getting back on defense manually after a shot or a basket. There are so many times when I have easy easy drives to the basket because people simply don't manually run the players back. The computer doesn't speed burst, so you need to speed burst your characters back, especially the big men. The big men get caught out big time in NBA 2K18 if you don't manually run them back. It gives the offense so many opportunities if you don't run the big man back. If you just have one line of defense, as long as any player penetrates that first line of defense, you have nothing if your big man isn't back there. So trust me guys, manually run back the big man and the point guard. If you do that, it establishes some sort of base for you to actually stop the ball carrier and then stop those guys that penetrate the first line of defense. So if you have those guys back, the big man and the point guard, it helps a ton stopping transition defense. They're your first things that you should be worrying about when you first score a basket or once you've scored a basket, just get your big man and your point guard back in position as fast as possible. So the next thing I want to talk about is don't be that guy that tries to steal every inbound pass. Get back on defense. This goes for my team or my park. It doesn't matter, especially on my park, because there's nothing worse than having those guys that just try and get that one in a million steal off the inbound that happens once every thousand passes. But they'll try and try again, and it just leaves your defense unstable. You cannot cover that that guy being up in the front court doing a solo full court press when you're going to eventually have five on four. So as long as that point guard beats that defender, you're virtually in shambles from the get-go. My team, my park, it doesn't matter. So don't worry about trying to steal the ball. Even after the inbound pass, trying to be in the player's face, don't worry. Get back behind half court. Get back to the three-point arc and actually do some proper defense. So the next thing I want to talk about is if you're not in a position to grab the rebound in Pike or my team or whatever, start to run back even if the ball's in the air. If you're in no position to get the rebound, don't even bother. Get back on defense so if you do miss the shot and not get the rebound, you actually have a bit of defense back to actually stop the fast break. So as I said, in my park especially, if you know there's so many times when people throw up bad shots and you're nowhere near the rim, you're nowhere near the chance of getting over these glass cleaners and all that sort of stuff, so run back on defense. Get back on defense so they can't run fast breaks on your on your ass, you know what I mean? You don't want fast break points because it leaks so many opportunities for the players. So getting back on defense is a big thing in all 2K games. They haven't got the transition defense to a point where where it's good enough to, to use. So you need these tips, guys. You need to use these things to actually have a chance in NBA 2K18 when those 2K cheeses, they exploit any little thing that they can get their hands on. So the last thing I want to talk about before I end this video, I almost forgot. If you do struggle to get the big man back, if they're too slow or anything like that, you've got to watch your corners. You need to get your shooting guard or your small forward to guard those corners because they are open like all hell on the fast break if your big men aren't back. If there's no one in that back little area near the back of the key and the rim, there's no chance of stopping the corner threes or the corner mid ranges. So if your big men aren't back, guys, look, notice this and see your shooting guard and your small forward will be playing the corner for like the corner of the three point lark, not the co actual corners of the court. So you need to bring them back a little bit just to stop those corner three pointers because they are deadly on the fast break in NBA 2K18. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these videos, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really does help out. And leave in the comments below anything that you're struggling with when it comes to NBA 2K18. If I have any 
any advice that I can help you with, I'll make a video about it, guys, because I'm not the greatest player in the world, but just simple tactics and basic things can make you win more consistent games in NBA 2K and NBA 2K18 in general. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch us later.